Hello, today's video is on stock number 34116 MS, the uh, stepper motor driver and uh, infrared remote control. I thought I'd make a quick video showing you the part in operation. Uh, see, first off, it comes like this board level. You've got the infrared remote, two wires, one for power, one for your, uh, your, your stepper motor. Uh, let's see here, it operates off of 5 volts DC. I uh, didn't see a voltage regulator on board, so it must be a, a well-regulated 5 volts. Uh, it will really only draw the, drive the smallest of stepper motors because it's rated at 300 milliamp max, so keep that in mind also. So let's go ahead and I have my little power here, plug it in. Uh, okay, uh, default state is on level 5 for the speed and the motor's turned off. There's a little infrared, uh, infrared a little red LED on the bottom, I'll show you when the motor's running. But uh, I just happen to have a, a small one with the, the correct pin spacing. So let me just go ahead and plug this in here. Uh, you have your speed. You have up to nine levels for your speed. And this uh, controls direction. And to stop, you hit the same button twice. So if, if you're going one direction, you flip the other direction must hit it again to stop it. Let's go ahead and uh, these are the four buttons you would use on the infrared. Uh, there's a little infrared sensor. So there again, like I said, you go up and down. Start a direction. Switch direction. Switch back. And then press it again to, to stop the motor. Uh, that's one thing I'm kind of disappointed in. You had a nice little on-off button right there. It would have been nice if they would have used it, but it doesn't. You only use these four black buttons. There again, let's get it started spinning. Increase the speed. Get up here a little more closer so you can see it. Now you can actually, depending on your, your stepper motor, can overdrive it. This one I believe, yeah, 7 is about as high as it'll go, the frequency. Then uh, 8, 9, 9 locks it up altogether. So keep that in mind depending on your motor. Starting over it, change direction. Okay, that's just straight as is. Uh, we did find that we have this nice little... Uh, stepper motor driver. It's rated at 2 amps, so a little bit better power. And the nice thing about this is it actually has a 5-volt uh, regulated source. So if you have a 12-volt motor, you can drive 12, mo 12 volts into the driver and tap off the 5-volt to power your, uh, power your controller here. Uh, I'll put up a, a screenshot of the schematic and how it's hooked up. So go ahead and uh, Go ahead and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at the uh, schematic. Okay, now we're back. Now I'm going to hook up the larger stepper motor. Okay, as you, you got the little LED flashing, so you know your your motor is running. Okay, no 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 flashing. Running. Obviously, this will allow you to drive a much larger stepper motor. You see, just that's uh, what NEMA 14. Yeah, even this one really doesn't uh, can't handle the frequency at that max speed. They're slow. Reverse direction. Like I said, it really would have been nice if they just had, they, they would have hooked up the on-off button. Slow down. Stop. Go. Stop. Reverse. And I guess the last thing I'd like to cover is, I, don't, I do not like, is it does not retain the settings when you remove power. Let me go ahead and do that. Well, actually, it comes back on 5. That's the default. So let me just... The motor is running and it's on level three. I'm going to remove power, and comes back. And the default state is motor not running and at level five for speed. Ooh.
Okay. Hopefully this will answer some of your questions. Uh, you have any more, let us know. And thank you for watching our video.